Example 12. In the figure shown, if the Mercury YouTube is given an acceleration of 0.5 g toward the right, determine the gauge pressure at C. The rightward acceleration if the pressure at B is zero, no liquid is spilled during the process. The rightward acceleration if the pressure at C is zero, no liquid is spilled. So this is the open YouTube manometer. So it it is A and E are exposed to the atmosphere. So the pressure is atmospheric or zero gauge. So for the first question, um, tangent theta is equal to ax over g and it is equal to whatever the change in vertical distance of the surface here, y over 0.6 meter. So tangent theta equals ax over g equals y over 0.6. This is 0.6. So let's first determine why AX is 0.5 of G divided by G equals Y over 0.6. So Y is 0.3 meter. Because Y is 0.3 and if we double 0.2 meter or 200 mm, that's less, that's more than 0.3. So meaning the this mercury surface will lower by 0.15 and at E it will rise by 0.15 to make it 0.3. So this should be the imaginary surface of zero pressure. So y is 0.3. Then the head over C would be this value here plus this value. We will call this value as y1 and this value here from this horizontal yellow line is equal to 50 mm or 0 0.05 meter because this lowers 150 mm, E will rise 150 to make it 300 mm or 0.3 meter. So take note, this is 50 mm or 0 0.05 as shown in the figure. So the head over C would be Y1 plus 0 0.05. So that's the depth from zero pressure to 0 0.C. So solving for Y1 by similar triangles, y1 as to 150 mm equals 0.3. This is y.3 as to 600 mm. So y1 is equal to 0 0.075 meter. Therefore, the pressure at C is equal to specific weight of mercury 13.6 times 9.81 times quantity y1 plus 0 0.05. So 13.6 times 9.81, y1 is 0 .0, 0 0.075 plus 0 0.05. So pressure at C is 16.68 kilopascals. We then proceed to the second, the rightward acceleration if the pressure at B is zero. So meaning to say, for the pressure at B to be zero, the imaginary surface should cross B. So A will totally lower up to B. And this is 0.2 meter or 200 mm. E will rise also by 0.2 or 200 mm. So the total distance from vertical distance from B to this surface here would be 0.4. So this should be the imaginary surface of zero pressure. Call that theta 1. And this is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is 0 0.2 plus the lowering of the leg here to be 0 0.2, so it will rise here by 0 0.2, so that makes it 0 0.4. So tangent theta 1 equals AX over G, 9.1 equals 0 0.4 over 0 0.6 meter. So solving for AX, AX is 6.54 meters per second square. Lastly, the rightward acceleration if the pressure at C is 0, so meaning to say the surface will, will cross C, so the total uh, rising, lowering of A would be 200 plus 150 or 0.35. So E will rise also by 0.35. So the total height here is 0.55. So this should be the imaginary surface. This is theta 2 and this height is 0.55. Where 0.55 is 0.2 plus 0.2 plus 0.15. So that's 0.55. However, this distance here is 0.45 only or 450 mm. 
because the imaginary surface will cross C. So tangent of theta 2 equals AX over 9.31 equals 0.55 over 0.45. So AX is equal to 11.99 meters per second square.